I hate this camera and I hate this lighting. All right, so you all know that I am... There's so many words I can finish that sentence with, but I'm a big lover of pizza, right? And I always talk about certain pizzas, like especially the ones from like Ask, ZZ, Pizza Express. Like I sometimes claim that they're authentically Italian. But I'm here with my good friend Giuseppe, who is a professional Michelin starred Italian chef. I have three and a half three Michelin Three and a half, stars. almost on four, almost on four. Otherwise known as Seps Eats on Instagram. Also known for his global fame, for whoring his Italian grandmother out. Basically. <laughs> Nice. Let's make involtini di melanzane. Involtini melanzane. Cheers. Mmm. That guy in the background is pissing me off. As a Michelin star chef, along with the like, the wisdom of his grandma, they make the most authentic, beautiful Italian food. So I thought, do you know what? Do you actually know what, yeah? What we're gonna do, do is- Do you know what, yeah? Do you know what, yeah? It's still a thing. So I thought, let's get all of the UK vegan pizzas, rate them all, and I'm gonna give my verdict based on a basic British stroke half Persian consumer. And then we're gonna get the actual verdict of how an authentic a Italian- A real Italian. A real Italian pizza should be- With a northern accent. With a northern accent. So obviously all of these pizzas are vegan. They do have cheese on them, but the 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 the, 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 the. So we've ordered a pizza, margarita. Whenever I think pizza margarita, what do you think of? The most boring blind pizza ever that someone could ever order. Yes, but what film do you think of? I have no idea what you're on about. Home Alone? Oh, when, when, he opens the, when, yeah. when he opens the cheese pizza. Mate! Here's your very cheese pizza. I would never normally order a margarita pizza because you know I'm not that kind of basic bitch. But this is not about toppings, right? So I thought just because we want to get... I want the authentic verdict on crust, right? On tomato sauce. On cheese. On cheese. On ratios. On flavorings. On seasoning. And structure. And structure. Yeah. And apply to face ability. Do you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. So we have four pizzas. <laughs> four pizzas from the most four popular chains. Pizza number one. Here we come. Before we dive in, what what's your authentic already opinion on Zizi in general as a Zizis are very uh, individually Italian, as you can see by their slogan. I don't eat, uh, eat Zizis too much, but I do love that they do very big pizzas. That they, they do. They're probably the only high street chain where they have like a giant pizza that's like a it's like a rectangle, which is traditionally the shape that you would get it in Italy and a lot of restaurants as well. So is it actually? Yeah, yeah. Didn't know that. Good, but they've got a nice vegan sticker here as well to show us that it is the vegan. <laughs> do you know what? I think I should. Comment first, because yeah. whatever I say is probably not true. Yeah. And you can come through with the facts. Yeah, good point. Oh, fuck. My... <laughs> Did you, like, print this? So, that... To me... Oh, no. I like how thin that is. There's not enough tomato sauce for me. It does look quite crispy, which I also like. The vegan cheese is just splattered in one place. Based on visuals, it's not saying much to me. I'm not gonna be on. I'm not gonna lie. So it's very thin. Like Mal said, there's bits here. This is literally just dry bread. Like, ooh, ooh. So this one actually looks a little bit better. That one does look better. I'll have that one. Okay, sir. The typical New York thing to do is to fold it over. Is that a typical Italian thing to do as well? Not with a shape like this, but definitely when it's a triangle, you fold it like this. Oh yeah. Okay, so I would not be frowned upon by Italians no, for doing all. so. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. But don't say anything. As far as a margarita goes in the vegan world, I'd give that a. Wait, I need another bite to. It's even harder to focus. The tomato sauce of this one, in my opinion, bangs. I'm not gonna lie. I give that a 6 out of 10 based on a margarita, based on the fact that it was cold. Verdict. Okay. <clears throat> the vegan cheese is actually very good. I really like it. It's not too cheesy. It doesn't stick to the roof of your mouth like traditional vegan cheese. Um, tomato isn't bad. It's not very like. Heartburny, it's, it's not very acidic, which is nice, very sweet. The texture, the base, um, I'm not I'm a huge. Not sure I understand. Me neither, sorry. <laughs> if I was to close my eyes and like and eat this, the texture tastes like cardboard. Well, I don't it, but I feel like I could recycle this and turn it into paper. The thing is, right, I did say to Giuseppe afterwards we're not going to do this but whatever we have left we're going to give it to homeless people i don't even think even homeless people i was going to say i feel like giving this to a homeless person would be like kicking them while they're down although i did give it a six out of ten <clears throat> but now i've heard your verdict i'm kind of slipping i'm going to give that a three but i think it is because it's a little bit cold yeah wait what's this all right oh. uh, ooh, sorry, sorry. Ooh. 
Pizza number two. I, I already know what you're gonna think of this one because I already know what I think of this one. It's Big Papa J. Motherfucking Papa John's, baby. I will say one thing, right? When I used to, oh my gosh, why am I changing race every two seconds? Right, I'm back there. When I used to live in Florida, in Florida. You live in Florida? Yeah. Oh, sick. Between the age of 13 to 17, oh, yeah, Tennessee. Yeah. When I used to live in Florida, and I was obviously not vegan, I was a kid then. Papa John's was like the best pizza out of all the pizza places. Like everyone used to rave about Papa John's. Better ingredients. Yeah. In this country, I feel like it's not the same. It doesn't really come through. And I don't know if any of you guys remember when I did my last fast food review with Anna, which was about two years ago. But the Papa John's pizza, which was not the margarita that we tried, it was so bad that we took it back and got our money back. So I'm quite interested to see what you're gonna think about this. It looks like a margarita. Does it though? It's just a bit thicker than Italians would no 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 Italians would never put that much cheese. Yeah, true. Uh, oh, are we we're gonna going go for the garlic garlic sauce? I feel yeah. like we should taste it without yeah, the garlic sauce first. first. Alright, cheers. Don't say anything. It's one of those things we have to chew about 200 times. Right, okay, again, I'm gonna go first because whatever you say is gonna be right. And for me to say that's quite a big thing because I'm someone that always primes myself on being right even when I'm not. But there is something about that that I like and I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but I can tell you that I know that that's a terrible pizza. It's very, very rubbery. It's very hard to swallow. Last time I tried their garlic sauce, um, it looked and, t I, was, I was gonna say and tasted as if I've tasted semen. It looked like semen. Um, and therefore we took it back. I'm hoping that they have improved. No, it's, so they call it their vegan garlic sauce, but it literally just looks like melted butter. So it's the pizza, like, it's actually not that bad. The cheese is good, the, the bread is actually quite nice. It's got weird, like, it does almost taste like it's a microwave pizza or like an oven pizza. It does, right? It tastes like a frozen pizza. The base is like almost like sourdough, so it's like a nice sourdough bread. It's, it's almost like a focaccia, so it's not a traditional true, pizza. True, true. It's got a nice mouthfeel. Uh, we're going in for the garlic dip, um, which my mouth is already offended and I have not even put it in yet, but we're gonna, we're gonna have to take one for the team. Cheers. That is absolutely fucking disgusting. It's so bad. It literally tastes like a knob of butter. I mean, I wouldn't even give this to, I'm trying to think worst who my, my worst enemy. I wouldn't even give this to I was literally just about <laughs> to say that. <laughs> That's pretty offensive, you know, like, it's embarrassing. It's as well. embarrassing. It's very embarrassing. Vegans. You want to impress you're, your vegan friends. You're doing, a, you're doing veganism a disservice. See, I rate this low. I know you're going to say more, but I give that a three and a half. I would give this a four and a half. Really? You need to come, you need to come forward. Should I do it back? There are very few people that I enjoy watching on Instagram and that I vibe with in real life. Thank you. So definitely go and check out Seps Eats. It's probably the hottest food review. Instagram page. I mean, if you're following me on YouTube, you're probably following him on Instagram. I know I, I was making a joke earlier that he... Well, it's not really a joke, is it, that you whore out your grandma for I use? absolutely whore out my grandma. Let's make pasta go sorgo with my nonna. Cheers. Mm. I'm also trying to get him on YouTube, and he, he has a small channel, so I'm going to leave his YouTube down below as well. And the next pizza is... Oh. Ask... Awesome. Italian. Now, Ask is a restaurant that holds a very, see, a very special place in my heart because I don't know why actually, it just does. I, I used to go there a lot when I was younger, before I was vegan actually, and I always enjoyed their food. I personally always felt like it was kind of authentically Italian. You're probably going to tell me it's not. This doesn't look that bad. It I doesn't. think out of all the four that we bought, this one does look nice and it does have, I like the fact that they've put a sprinkle of Oregano. 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 Oregano on top. Interesting cheese to tomato ratio. In, in what sense? Um, there's so much vegan cheese on this. Wait, just in case for a thumb. Every time. Alright, ready? Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Interesting mouthfeel. I want to give it the crust. It's interesting to see how they all compare. I would neck that. I don't know what- I think they make their vegan cheese out of rice milk. Could be wrong. It's mozzarella. I like the tomato sauce. I like the cheese. I like the base. I like the box. I would give that a seven. Well, mine's gone, which goes to show that I did very much enjoy it. Yeah, really, really good. I would probably give it a 7.5 as well. Like, oh, really? The, the texture is really nice. Probably mozzarella is my favorite vegan cheese, and I'm 99% sure that is the one on this pizza. Where can you buy it from? Um, Italy. Oh, okay. 
Uh, and <laughs> yeah, really great addition of the oregano. 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 Nice amount of tomato sauce. Eesh. Okay, on to my favorite. Wait, how do you address? How do you address? Oh, yeah, shit. We don't want people showing up. I don't people have already showed up. Have they actually? Do you know what actually happened? This is a story I've not told them yet because it was one of you that did it. Romana Vegan Margarita, a bigger, thinner, crispier pizza. I've always loved Pizza Express and I've always said, I don't know what, again, I want to know what you think. I've always said that I think Pizza Express make the best tomato sauce. Oh, these slices. I can practically see through this. You hold some fingers off and I'm going to guess how many fingers you <laughs> Three. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, thumbnail. Oh yeah, this is good. Okay. Well, yeah. Look, look. Basically, look how big it is there, and when you turn it to the side, it just disappears. That's a bit like me, though, to be quite honest. They're like you've got shoulders, but then you turn to the side, and you're just not there. Cheers. Cheers. To be fair, it is better when it's hot. For me, the tomato sauce bangs. I will say that the crust is not that different to the actual dough. It's just all doughy. There's no crust. There's no crust. Would imply to me that they haven't actually used a traditional pizza oven because that would have left it up the crust. Very, very true. I'm still obsessed with the tomato sauce though. I'm really obsessed with the tomato sauce. Um, so based on that, I'm gonna give this a six. If it was hot, if it was in restaurant, if it had a fucking crust, I'd probably give it an eight. Um, probably a four point five. No, this is just too thin. What would your grandma say about this? If we actually gave this to her, she and would said, like, literally. I've made you an Italian pizza. She would blow her nose a bit, thinking it's a tissue. No, but you really. Mm. <sighs> so full. We did just eat the most delicious butternut. Do you guys remember my tahini butternut carbonara? You're gonna see it on Instagram. Anyways, I'm sending you guys lots of love. I hope you enjoyed this little review, and I'll see you in the next video. Later. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I never say that, but oh, fuck. do all those things. We got seatbelts on, do we? Yes, we do need seatbelts on for reviewing pizza. Uh, I know, like, I thought I'd be trying to. Hold on, boy, hold on. All right. On the camera's wobbling when you do that. Okay. It's so hard to hold all this fucking cardboard up. I know. It's one, 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 one. Oh my god. Do you, have, you don't have a spare finger? Do you have a clean finger? No. Um, if you were to ask me a question, you would be asking an Italian a question. Let me just answer this just in case it's um, a TV thing. Hello? Might be just a thing. Yeah, who's speaking? Oh, hi, how are you? Just in case you're wondering what the fucking beeping is, every time I... I'm just putting these all outside because I'm making a mess. Giuseppe was just like, what, why do you have a watermelon in your car? I didn't even know that I had a watermelon in the back of my car. Safe. Okay. Yeah, we're done.